Astronomers regularly observe rocky and icy wanderers of various shapes and sizes speeding past Earth. But in the month of June 2021, they were astounded when they saw the largest comet they'd ever seen. The comet is now known as Comet C-2014 UN-271, or Bernardinelli Bernstein after its discoverers. University of Pennsylvania graduate student Pedro Bernardinelli and astronomer Gary Bernstein. C-2014 UN-271 which might be 62 miles, 100 kilometers wide, is 20 times the distance from Earth to the Sun away and is coming straight for our blue planet. This is unusually large for a comet. Comets with such long orbits offer a better opportunity to understand the makeup of the Oort cloud. On January 23rd, 2031, the comet will reach its closest point to the Sun in its orbit just beyond Saturn's orbit, or approximately 10.95 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. So, this means we have practically 20 years to study it. This will be an exciting opportunity, because the comet is likely a near-pristine object from the Oort cloud, which is a field of icy, rocky debris that probably surrounds the solar system like a crunchy shell. In 2031, if you take a halfway decent telescope to a dimly lit area, you will be able to see this specter shift among the stars. At a distance of one billion miles, it won't provide the cinematic streak some comets are famous for, but you will see a flicker of light. The comet 2014 UN 271 initially appeared in the Dark Energy Camera Archives in 2014, as they traced the object through 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Bernardinelli and Bernstein quickly noticed that the object, which appeared to be nothing more than a dot, was moving over time. The astronomers reported the observation to the Minor Planet Center, which first classed the object as an asteroid or minor planet due to its chemically inert surface. However, amateur astronomers were prompted to tilt their telescopes upward by news of the new object, and some quickly detected a coma, or haze of vapors and dust emerging from the comet. Comets are active because the sun's heat and solar wind cause gas to escape from the surface. The comet's surface has likely been more active in the recent few years as it streaked closer to the sun, making the activity easier to see. According to Minor Planet Center astronomers, the comet takes about five and a half million years to complete its orbit, which is vertical to the plane of the planets. Average comets usually complete their orbits in less than 200 years, but long period comets can take thousands of years. At its farthest point away, it's about a light year away from the sun. Based on its orbit, the comet is most likely an envoy from the Oort cloud, a far off ice cold region beyond the outer edges of the solar system. Objects like the Bernardinelli Bernstein comet were likely once part of the solar system but gravitational interactions with giant planets like Saturn and Neptune force them out. Though the comet's history is unknown, this latest journey could represent its first return to the solar system since its banishment. This is intriguing because the short periodicity comets that orbit the Sun have been drastically transformed from their original state having been roasted and weakened through many rotations around the Sun. Long periodicity comets like Bernardinelli Bernstein, which dwell in the outer region of the solar system, don't change as much, meaning they're a time capsule of conditions at the time of their formation in the early days of the solar system. Studying the comet will not only provide further information about how this gigantic object developed and evolved, but it may also shed light on the early history of giant planet movements in the solar system. 
While cometary observation projects are still in the planning stages, a typical huge event attracts the attention of the world's greatest telescopes. By 2031, numerous new observatories dedicated to Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein may be operational.